Hi gang, Phil here. I just wanted to take a minute to do a quick video about a new application that I came across for blogging that I have gotten a lot of use out of and I really enjoyed. And I don't know about you, but uh, I sometimes get kind of lazy about my blogging and uh, I lose a lot of motivation at times. I think part of it is just because I really just don't want to log into WordPress and go to the trouble of putting together a post. But I always knew that if I could be on a website and see something I like and then just really quickly blog about it right there, I'd be more likely to do it more often. So, Scribefire solves that problem for me. First thing you need to do is go to Scribefire.com and you'll need to go to download Scribefire and once you've done that, um, just go ahead and do that and I'll just take a break in the video and we'll resume and I will talk with you about how this how this application works and what you can do with it. Okay, now once you've installed the file, um, very simple to do, just click on the Scribefire installation file and then once you've done that uh, you should have a small icon at the bottom of your browser. It is this little uh, pen with paper looking icon and uh, I'll just show you how we'll use that. Um, I'm now in my blog lines and what you'll need to do is click on, uh, I don't know, let's just take Mashable for instance. Um, let's see what's interesting here. Uh, let's see, NBC launches NBC Direct. Okay, so let's go check this out. Now, to use Scribefire, all you have to do is click on this little icon. Kind of slow. Mo Internet's moving a little slow tonight. So the cool thing about Scribefire is that you're able to look at the website at the top of the page and then you're able to blog at the bottom. So you can see I have my two blogs plugged in right here, uh, Tennessee Talk, so I have that highlighted, I have the little radio button highlighted, and uh, I can just enter the title of the post that I want to do and enter the uh, content of the post. And then uh, if I want to tag it, my, my tags are automatically inputted into Scribefire. Once I've logged in, of course, once you uh, install Scribefire and you first time you'll try to use it, you'll have to log into your account and uh, into your WordPress account. And uh, you'll actually be able to see your most recent posts and um, any pages that you might have. And um, it's just a really valuable tool. I, you know, I think it's, it's, I tell you what, it, it's made a lot easier for me to do a lot more blog entries than I ever have before just because I'm able to uh, look at a website and then comment on it at the bottom of the screen without going through the trouble of having to go to that particular blog and then log into the account and then refer back to a, uh, a, a separate page. So, it's a really valuable tool and I encourage you to check it out.